he just overran. He oh. did. Oh, f he's dead. Foot of the clutch, foot of the clutch. I wonder whether he could see properly get into that westerly afternoon sun because he's almost missed his complete garage. And he's stalled. Yeah, clear to go, clear to go. So here's the replay. Oh, so, so they've done that. Oh, oh, now I understand. So that they did, they did the left side because I couldn't work out why it was crossed up, but that was after the fact. Uh, so just mass confusion. So they did working side of the car, not the rears. High stakes between Tickford and Triple Eight. Waters in search of a victory for the first one since Townsville last year. And Van Gisbergen wanting to continue that form and assert himself even further in the lead. And he chases him up the hill into turn three. Can he get by? He's right on him, a nail biter down the hill now into turn four. There's only a car length between them. Massive pressure on Cam Waters who cannot afford a misstep, particularly up here as Mark Scaife suggested into turn seven. This is the exit of five. Here comes the curb at six. Bang, over the top of it. Vulnerability right here and Van Gisbergen knows it and he shoves the nose up the inside, but it's not quite enough. Out the other side and still Waters has got a margin, but it's only just barely. If he can hang on to this, it'll be a great under pressure victory for Waters. And Van Gisbergen tries to drive it out the other side of nine, but he doesn't quite have enough. He's got three corners remaining. This is 10. Waters survives out the other side. Now it's two corners that separate Cam Waters from a potential victory. They fought for this one at Monster. Van Gisbergen bombs it down oh! the other side of Norman, and he's almost got up there. And they come together in the final corner. And Gizzy backs away from it. And Cam Waters a huge victory at Winton. Great last lap. Van Gisbergen comes up into third. Reynolds is currently sitting in second. Now Hazelwood punches one in. Van Gisbergen to the top, the first in the 18s, quickly eclipsed by Waters, done an 18-5. It's Waters over Van Gisbergen by, what is that, Scafie? Six ten thousandths of a second. I can't even work out the number. It's ridiculous. It's 0. .0006. Waters over Van Gisbergen. Get some numbers for you to understand just how close that is between two cars. It'll be barely measurable. And Aaron Noonan just said that's the closest ever margin for pole at Winton. Unbelievable. He's just coming back out now, and here comes Van Gisbergen. There you go. <laughs> now Shane will come from the outside and try to get a run off two to get down the inside at three. He's got the run. Can he get it done? He moves it over. He's done a dive. He's got it down the inside. Executed manoeuvre. Great job. Running straight power pass. He dummies one way, then flicks the other. Cam wouldn't have known where he was unless he looked on the right hand side and there's a Red Bull Airport Commodore. What's this? Flicks left, dives right. Didn't make contact. Down the inside, on the dirty side. Through turn two with beautiful rhythm and flow. Had all the momentum and then bang, down the inside. Another SVG classic. Oi. Oh, teammates, nice. That'll be a good discussion later on with James Courtney and Jake Kostecki. Third races of the weekend and not playing well for Jake Kostecki because he got turned by his cousin at Turn 7 at Western Australia last time out. Now it looks like Tim's about to turn in. They've made wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact and then both cars off the road. And you're going quite fast, so at that point, he's had to lock the wheels and he's going to go into the fence here. That's awkward. That is. Down at turn 11, two corners to go. Waters has got a bit of a margin, more than he had yesterday. Final corner of this race, and he runs it out of road on the edge, and Cam Waters has resisted all the pressure for a brilliant win at Winton. What a great job, and have a look at the Ford fan reaction from the hill. What a great day for this team and for that young man from Mildura.